Well, the, the potato has been in Sturman Mosser's history for eight generations. Sturman Mosser packs potatoes, we grow potatoes, we ship potatoes, we do everything with potatoes. We have 5,000 acres, 5,000 plus on our farm and we're trying to grow 1,300 acres of potatoes and every year we've been trying to increase that and if you're not growing, you're falling behind. So we are trying to grow the business to, to keep up with uh, the times. Harvest has gone relatively smooth. We've got a uh, couple hang-ups that we had going on, but Sputnik has stuck with us and they have helped us through every hiccup that we've had, um, redesigned some things, and um, they came through for us, no doubt. The challenge in Pennsylvania is the narrow roads for transport. We've got a lot of stones, a lot of flat stones. So to transport a full-size four-row machine, the roads just, bridges don't let you do that in Pennsylvania. So we needed to have a four-row machine with a two-row width. And this is how this whole concept got started. We, we decided that, hey, if we could take four rows and lift four rows, and we could merge them into two, we can send them through a two-row air set, so the overall width of the machine stays the same as a two-row machine, but the intake is a four-row. We had gone to Sputnik and talked to them about, uh, about this concept, and we also said, you know, if we had a windrower that could separate the stones, we could probably run 12 rows at a time. So they thought, well, we can probably build you a four-row to two-row windrower air sep, but it would cost almost like a potato harvester would cost. It would be like all but the, the boom. So well we understand, you know, but but the value of our of getting our crop out with one machine is probably gonna offset the cost of those two windrowers like that. So they went to work and they built this whole windrower and harvester on the same platform. So everything from the mainframe on down is all the same. So it can be made into a harvester. Those wind rollers, if they don't pan out like we think they will, um, they can be made into a harvester. Throw a side elevator on and a boom and they're ready to go. They got all, everything is the same. So that makes things versatile. We're harvesting 12 rows, which we have gone from six row systems now to this one 12 row system. Separating those four rows with one wind rower We've got another windrower on the left-hand side that's doing the same thing. And then you got the harvester coming and picking up 12 rows of potatoes, but we're only separating four rows of rocks from those potatoes. Two thirds of the crop has gone through the air set twice and they look good. They are clean loads. Bruise in Pennsylvania is tough to come down, but we have not seen an increase in bruise by harvesting 12 rows. We can dig 30 loads a day here in Pennsylvania, which are trying conditions, and it takes a long day, but uh, it's doable. Before, it would take three six-row operations to get that done in a day, so it, it's increased tremendously. In this four to two concept, these potatoes make a this step down, so like a six-inch step to the angle chain and a six-inch step to the secondary. Boom, boom, it's like a cascade of potatoes on top of potatoes. So it, it just, it's very gentle, very gentle. The biggest drop is from the boom to the truck. That's my department. I gotta make sure that I don't drop them too far, but the machine itself is just totally gentle. So this machine loves wet. If you have to pull the truck through the field, this machine will still dig. Now, I hate to dig like that because it's very hard on your ground, but it will go through. It, it just digs. Um, very gentle on the crop, especially when it's wet. You can put all kinds of shakers in and, and you, can, you can do whatever you need to do. You get to that multi-sep and anything that's left, you can take out with that multi-sep. That is an incredible tool to clean a load of dirt out of potatoes. It just, it just flat out works. We're gonna plant as many acres as this thing can get harvested in a certain window of time. Once we're above that window of time, then we need to add another system like this to it. It's not hard to operate once you learn how it works. Um, everything is a, well, it's a preset. You push the button and, and it conforms the whole machine to what you want to have it. So you set the presets how you want it and push the button. Off you go. And you can set that preset for wet conditions or dry conditions or 
you know, wh whatever, whatever you deem necessary. You can just, there's six presets, you just set them how you want them and push the button. And then if you need to change something for some reason that, that's not in your preset, you go to the page where it's on and change it there. It's, it's relatively simple. Like we were a part of this two years ago and we dreamt this whole thing up and here it is, we're using it. Like that's it's pretty cool. We were flying out to, to look at some other things out west and we decided, well, we're gonna stop in at Sputnik and see what they have there and positive attitudes everywhere. It's, it's amazing. You, you, you ask them something, yes, we can do that. No questions asked, we can do it. Like it's just, it's a good place to do business. Good way to do business. My name is Jeff Klinger, and I'm with Sturman Mosser Incorporated. Our home base is in Sacramento, Pennsylvania. I got started with them 32 years ago and haven't looked back. Just happy to have Spudnik here to help us get the job done.